Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time, we pretty much cleared out this entire radar compound. Save for the behemoth there, but he's safely caged, so we'll just leave him alone. This time, it's time to go inside a vault. Vault 112, to be exact. That is, of course, assuming I can get out of here without getting blown up. Oh shit, wrong. Ow. It's E, not F. It's been only a couple of days since I last played this game. But still, already I'm losing touch with it. I suppose that's got something to do with how much I've been playing unturned. Come on. Come on. There we go. All the mines were had that day. There we go. Didn't go kaboom. More than twice. What the? Where are you guys going? Alright then. There it is. Smith Casey's Garage. Quaint little business. Out in the middle of nowhere. And that's an outcast stronghold or checkpoint, whatever. We'll be steering clear of them. Now. No. That'll do. Red Roach. Not anymore. Mole rats. Where are you? There you are. There you were. Open this up. Last way more mole raddies. Nice. Vault one twelve. Here comes the screech. All right. Anything up here? Resident, according to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault Suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. A tranquility lounge uh -huh. is available. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm keeping my helmet on. Please be seated. Doesn't that just look freaky? Anyway. Hello, 
sir. Uh huh. All right. Before we get in there, F five for safety. In we get. Oh, I don't like these things. Right light. Yep. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Stop calling me sport. Mm-hmm. First time I played this and got to this point, it was really, really weird. Like, you've played through this entire game, getting used to hitting tab or whatever, to go to your pit boy and everything, then to get here, and then just on reflex, hit tab, and then suddenly, whoa, no pit boy. Anyway, what's up? Someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Uh, no. No games for me, thanks. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. And you're just a little brat, aren't you? Look, kid, I'm not interested in playing games. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbaum cry. And I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you're stuck here. <sighs> This I thought entire I segment is extremely fucked up. Hiya. Hey, Timmy. I thought Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? No. I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. What? Did I do something bad? Mm-hmm. Sorry, Timmy. Just thought you should know. No, no! Not my mommy and daddy, no! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the one who said this would be nice and refer to her as Ms. Dillers. Mm -hmm. All right. Decided you want to play after all, huh? I had a feeling you'd come around. Your approach was somewhat uninspired, but it'll do. Since you won the game, you get a prize. You may ask one question which I will answer as honestly as possible. Where's my father? Your father? He's a scientist. He's looking for Dr. Braun. Oh my! What a splendid turn of events! I had no idea the two of you were related! Yes, I have indeed seen him. I'm afraid he's rather unavailable at the moment. What do I have to do to see him? Now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. You understand that I am in control then? Excellent. You are far more promising than your father. Let's get this over with. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They are very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. Fine. It's only because I want answers from you. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Mm-hmm. Apparently I can't walk through swings. Okay. Hello, Rockwells. Well, hi there! Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? 
Now see here, that's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? Mm -hmm. See ya. Take care now. Now. Uh, yeah, let's Good talk day. Over there. Good day to you. I hate it. Hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. What a horrible thing to say! Is that your idea of a joke? Anything to get me out of this place? All right. Have a great day. Right. So now that both speech options have failed, I always stumble at this part. Hey there, sport. How's it going? Mm-hmm. Take care now. Yeah. I've got next to no idea how to actually do this one. Hang on. This could work. Let's see, who are we talking about here? Janet Rockwell? No? Martha Simpson. Okay. Beat to death with a rolling pin. Done. The thing is, because of the way the simulation is set up, when one of these when these people die, it's just a simulation. But then they have been alive for over 200 years, so it's a mercy. One day I'll find Hello. the right house. Simpson residence. Hello, Martha. Who's that? Who are you? Mabel Henderson. You're leaving, right? Good day. You're Mabel, leaving, I meant to right? Ask you, have you seen the new Robco catalog? I thought you might be interested. Since All right. you don't seem to like your Mr. Handy. Stop doing that so close to Hiya. me. Come out of here. Kishblet. Ah! Mm -hmm. I get something Hello. to tell you. Well, hi there. Bad news, Roger. Your wife's a psychopath. What? What are you talking about? Martha Simpson is dead, and Janet killed her. Look, here's a rolling pin. But Janet would never... I mean, I know she was upset, but I thought she was over it. How could she do this? Mm-hmm. Let's put those away. Let's hear this. My God. You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. And you're interrupting me. Finally, someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But Get we're not with in charge. It. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. And who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. What fail-safe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Janet, what have you done? What on earth are you talking about, Roger? How could you? How could you do that to her? Have you lost your mind? Roger, stop it. You're scaring me. You should be in a sanitarium or a prison. You're out of your damn mind. You just stay away from me, you hear me? All right. Let's go talk to Betty, and then we'll see about that failsafe. Poor Janet and Roger. 
Quite uh -huh. a clever interpretation of the rules. I'll have to reset the system to restore Martha, but it's well worth the effort. You have taken a far greater interest in these little games than your father did. He found the whole thing beneath him. Uh, no, I'm just less particular about my methods. I did what you wanted, now you've got some explaining to do. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Oh yeah? Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Uh, what did my father want from you? Your father, frustrating as he was, recognized the significance of some of my previous work. He came to gather information on it. He was most pleased to be able to ask me directly, but he failed to understand how things work here. He was unwilling to compromise, to do anything I asked of him. And so, our discussions ended. Uh-huh. Enough games. Take me to him. No, I don't think I'll do that. I'm having far too much fun to stop now. What I will do, however, is consider releasing both of you once you've done a few more things for me. So let's get to it. Ah, <sighs> fine, let's get this over with. Oh, come now, show some enthusiasm! There are fewer rules this time. I'd like to see just what you're capable of. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Please put some effort into it. Do something creative. Beating her to death won't impress me. Uh, fine. Of course you will. And you never know. You might enjoy it. I don't think so. But, here's the thing. He said that there are fewer rules this time. And that my task is to kill Mabel Henderson. So guess what? We are actually going to kill her. And the rest of them. And give them the rest they deserve. Now, for the life of me, I can never remember the exact order of this thing. But... Yeah. So, it's basically just uh, sort of like a mastermind. Yeah, so, after that crash, as I was saying, this is basically just trial and error. So, I'll figure it out eventually. There we are! That didn't take too long. Alright. Activate auxiliary terminal. We won't read all that stuff. Access Chinese invasion. Fail safe program documentation. Blah blah blah. This is very dangerous. Yeah, yada yada yada. Uh huh. Initiate Chinese invasion fail safe. Beep! Bang, 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 bang. And she's still extremely happy about things. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe. Ruined everything. The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. Well, you did ask me to arrange a creative death for Mabel. So... I've done exactly as you asked. <laughs> now I'm calling the shots. You? No, I! I am the creator of this world! Feels so lost. So... all alone. I came here for my father. Now where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Alright. Let's get going. Run along now. Mm -hmm. There we are. 
out we get, and then I'm apparently no longer wearing my helmet. Hello, sir. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? I came to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. Good thing I showed up to save you. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. What did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. So you're heading back to River City now? Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's head there. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Be careful, my son. And that's Tranquility Lane. Now, after the Waters of Life, things will get pretty dicey pretty quick. So, I'm going to be taking a break from the main story again, and doing a few more side missions. So, Thank you all for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Fallout at 3. Until next time, see you later. Wasteland, wasteland.